Quizás ustedes no saben quién yo soy, pero soy Bad Bunny. El amarillo, que es mi, uno de mis colores favoritos. El rosa, igual. To Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill, and today, thank you so much to the Adidas and Bad Bunny team. We are going to be doing an early look at the Bad Bunny Form Power Catch and Throws. This is an incredible colorway, so thanks again to the two teams for sending these my way. Let's take a quick sneak peek before we start. <music> Back to another unboxing and review if you're new to the channel welcome be sure to hit that subscribe right now give this video a thumbs up if you have any comments or questions feel free to leave those down below hit that notification box we do have a ton of heat coming up that i don't want you to miss out on also be sure to check out that join button for some of our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store so as mentioned earlier big shout out to the team over at adidas and bad bunnies pr team for thinking of me and sending me these my way i cannot wait to go through the overview of these. This is such an incredible sneaker. I saw images that were leaked, so I couldn't wait to have these in hand, but what a pleasant surprise to receive these in the mail from Adidas and Bad Bunny's team. Such a huge, huge fan of Bad Bunny. So excited to do the overview on these. We're gonna start off with talking about all the details, and then we'll jump into size and fit and how they feel on foot, followed by how I style them. And then we'll talk about how much these will be going for retail and when and where you can find them. This is not the first Bad Bunny collaboration we've done with Adidas on this channel, so be sure to check that out if you haven't already. That is the Forum in the brown colorway, also released in black and pink as well, uh, but super happy to have this multicolor and dual combination of a sneaker to review this time around. For those of you who don't know about who Bad Bunny is, he is a Puerto Rican rapper. He's had lots of different amazing hits, and I love that we have this kind of Latin theme that they've implemented within this sneaker. So let's jump right into this. I know I'm a few days late. Adidas actually sent these my way three days ago, but I've been so crazy busy, but hey, we have them now. So let's jump right into it. Again, these are the Bad Bunny Forum Power Catch and Throws. They actually sent me this little letter as well. So I'm gonna read this before we start. It just says, we want to go beyond what is established. It is much more than a simple action. It is the search for an experience that allows each one to find new places. It is about connecting with expression without limits. That is the rule of the game. Catch and throw is a journey into the unexplored where the only rule is to play irrevertently, challenging the established parameters. Catch, do what you want and throw again. I kind of like the meaning behind this. I feel like it's kind of like creating your own path, doing things in your own unique way without creating rules or boundaries, just doing what you love. So I love that there's a story behind this and they've really just packaged it quite nicely. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. See what we've got going on here. This is a really colorful sneaker. I honestly don't have a color combination like this, but seeing it in hand, the colors just work. So starting with the front of the toe box, you'll notice that we do have kind of a uh, synthetic nubuck on the front of the toe in this really light tan color scheme. And then we do have a uh, nice nylon mesh 
toe box here in a navy colorway. On the top, we do have some synthetic leather in a salmon pink color scheme, which I think pops quite nicely off of that navy. As we work our way up into the tongue, we have a dual tongue. And the only time I've actually ever seen a dual tongue like this is with the Sakai. So one of the cool things about this is it is detachable. So you'll notice that we do have Bad Bunny's logo here, that eye, which honestly was really cool. It looks very 3D and it kind of looks like it would glow in the dark, to be honest with you. I do love the lime green that they've selected. It does really pop quite nicely off of the inner tongue, which is navy with an outer lining of black. On the inside, we do have the Adidas logo. And as you can see there, there is a button that detaches the tongue. So if you're not feeling, you know, the tongue in there, you can actually completely detach this from the front tongue and you'll just have the Bad Bunny logo there, which is kind of nice that they give you that option. As we work our way to the laces, these are just nice kind of patterned, looks like it's almost got some 3M reflective in this yellow tone. When I put it up to the green eye though, it almost gives me this kind of key lime color scheme as well. Uh, but if you're not feeling these laces, they do give you two other colorway options. So we have it in this nice lavender purple color scheme or a black color scheme. These are very different. So I do love that they give you those options. On the tips of the laces, you do see Bad Bunny right there. Uh, so nice little simple detail and the eyelets are just in a simple black on that black uh, Nubuck synthetic leather. So let's take a look at those details up close and then we'll move on to the side panels. side panels you have this kind of sherbet orange which is such a beautiful orange I've never been a huge orange fan I'm very particular with orange color schemes but I love what they've added to the three stripes on the side panel uh, paneling of this uh, looking at the underlays it is a deeper tan color scheme that works its way underneath that orange sherbet pan or three stripe panels as we work our way to the back more of that light tan nubuck and even a lighter cream color scheme on on the back we've got the adidas logo and this does actually detach underneath you can kind of see that there's not anything really exciting underneath there so not quite sure exactly why they had this detachable unless they were going to add a different color option to actually replace the cream colorway with but other than that i would probably just keep this on because this will definitely get a lot of things stuck in it we're here way to the inside of the collar we have just black and this nice lime green on the back which kind of pops quite nicely it's nice and bright working our way to the bottom of the midsole you'll notice we have this kind of bright sky blue color scheme and some threading going on at the base there and the midsole is in this nice yellow aged color scheme and it's then completed with that same yellow color scheme on the bottom so the insole has the dual logo so we've got adidas as well as bad bunny's cute little bunny logo in there and it is all black and the logos are both in a simplistic white let's take a look at those details and then i'm going to move on to the box and we'll talk about the duster bag that it came with as well
All right, so now let's talk about the box. This is a really cool box. It is in this nice light cream color scheme. We have the I Bad Bunny logo here on the front with the three stripes for Adidas. We do have the dual logo combination there as well. And then Bad Bunny on one side, actually both sides. And again, we do have the Bad Bunny and Adidas logo on this side as well. If you do open it up, it says Yo Visto Asi. And what that translates to in Spanish is this is how I dress. So I love the fact that they've added some Spanish into the theme of this box. And it really truly does remind me of Bad Bunny and something that he would actually have in his clothing collection. Also, as an additional piece of the box, I do love getting a duster and they gave us one in this cream colorway. It has Bad Bunny's logo and Adidas's logo there. It's just one dust bag we didn't get to this time around, but this is definitely large enough to fit both sneakers into one. And one of the things I love to take with me are duster bags when I'm traveling, just because I like to keep my sneakers kind of separate from my clothes and what I'm wearing. Let's get into sizing. One of the things I do want to say is this is a combination sneaker. So the top part of the sneaker is actually a forum. So I actually brought one of my just basic general release forms out so you can kind of see the similarities between the top half of the sneaker. And then the second half is actually the power phase. And so you can see that it is definitely a bit different on the bottom. You do have that same weaving going on the bottom there, but it is not the same midsole. Uh, and there is EVA foam in this, so it is quite comfortable. Definitely not as comfy as uh, something with boost in it, but I definitely felt like these were very enjoyable to walk around in and definitely gonna be one of my go-to shoes, I feel like, this year. All right, so as far as sizing goes, I would say stick true to size in this one. I definitely do have higher narrow feet, so depending on as to whether or not you have that type of shape of foot and style of foot, it could differentiate the size that works best for you. So if you are a flatter, wider foot person, I would probably recommend maybe changing up your size a little bit from mine, uh, but definitely take that into consideration. All right, so now let's talk about styling. Definitely had fun styling the Seeker. Lots of different color variations going on. So I definitely wanted to pull some different pieces that really match the color scheme in this sneaker. So for the first look, I decided to really match with this salmon pink color scheme. So I paired it with a pair of cargo salmon denim pants, and I feel like it really matched it to a T. For the top, I just tucked in a plain black tank top. And over that, I wore a nice just tan blazer. I think the tan really just matched the tan hues throughout the sneaker. And it just gave it a more more kind of dressed up casual look. look, I definitely wanted to play off the lime green color schemes that I saw throughout the sneaker. So I decided to wear a matching kind of tracksuit look with matching pants and a quarter zip top in this lime green color screen, <laughs> lime green color scheme. Uh, definitely saw that in the eye and on the back of the heel there. Uh, so I definitely feel like that lime green just worked quite nicely with all of the different colors that were paired on the silhouette. And final look, I decided to wear a pair of simple, just light denim pants and a checkered brown and yellowed vest underneath. Again, this has somewhat of a yellowish kind of hue to it, so I really wanted to match that. And then I layered that with a suede brown coat. I think that browns and tans just really work nicely with a colorway like this. <laughs> 
que no es conmigo ¿Dónde estás? Sé que estás bien Yo no te quiero perder Aunque sepa que lo nuestro no va a volver No queda nada que hacer Entre tú y yo todo va a desaparecer Por eso era mentira Que tuviste mi vida Que antes de un segundo Yo creí que tú eras mía oh, 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 oh. Yo creí que tú eras mía Perdón por tenerte presente Perdón por tenerte So you let me know down below what was your favorite look out of the three or how would you decide to style these? So this is set to release on February 9th and it will be retailing at $160. You can find this on the Confirmed app and it will be releasing at 8.30 a.m. Eastern time. So definitely set your alarm clocks and put this in your calendar. This is a sneaker you're definitely not gonna wanna miss out on. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. Thank you again to the team over at Adidas as well as Bad Bunny's PR team. I really appreciate you all thinking about me for this drop. I am so excited to wear these throughout the rest of the year. So thanks, thanks, thanks so much for sending these my way. All right, everyone, that's it for this unboxing and review. If you're new to the channel and joined us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe right now. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, leave those down below. Hit that notification box. We do have a ton of pee coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for all of our amazing perks as well as our merch store. This is Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill. We will catch you all on the next episode. Me dice que me quiere amar, solamente que